Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're watching Twice's new music video, I Got You, that just premiered about 30 minutes ago. Now, I did do actually a live reaction to this video, but I didn't have this particular layout, so it got flagged by YouTube immediately for, like, copyright infringement, saying like, hey, this is another video that's already out there, like, you can't do this, which makes perfect sense. So now we're going back to kind of like our small format where you've got me over here, and then you've got the music video on the side, so... Technically, this isn't going to be the first reaction, but this is going to be the second, maybe 1.5 reaction, because I've only ever listened to the song fully once until the stream got taken down. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to watch the music video, and then after that, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, the original thoughts that I had that were on the live stream that were taken down, and then we're going to watch it again, pausing along the way, talking about the things um, that I thought were like interesting to note, things like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's watch Twice's new music video, I Got You. And of course, this was also present during the live stream, but I did bring this out, and it, the exposure is so high that you can't really see it, so we might actually turn this off. There we go. There we go, alright. Every second, every minute, when you're 
All right, so again, that was my second time listening to it, so I sort of knew where some of the things were going to happen, um, but my initial thoughts were the song is awesome. I think it's really good because Twice's songs follow this really standardized pop formula where it's the intro that leads into the verse, that leads into the pre-chorus, the chorus, verse 2, chorus 2, um, the break, and then the final chorus where just everything is like awesome and it's just like the most exciting part of the song and then you feel really satisfied when the song is over. So I thought this was a really good example of that and something that Twice does really well because there's so many members, they all sort of have their like roles when it comes to the song itself, like the singing pieces, and it's just like a formula that basically never fails, which is like what one of the things I really like about Twice is that they just have this really good formula that we're going to go through as we watch through the music video again, and I'm going to like pause here and there. Um, so we're going to talk about the video. We're going to talk about the music. We're going to talk about the things we noticed. But all in all, really like the song. I was really surprised that the whole thing was in English. Um, it's like they sort of know that the global K-pop community is so strong right now. Like, the hype is all the way up here above the camera frame. Um, so, like, there hasn't been a single full English Twice song that I have not liked. They simply have all been bops. Like, they are so good. I love listening to them over and over, and this is no exception. So, what we're going to do this time is we're going to watch it again... And we're going to pause here and there. So we're going to talk about, I guess we'll, we'll break this up into two parts, right? We'll watch it again visually, and then I'll pause and make comments, and then we'll watch it again musically, and then I will make my comments there. So let's go ahead and watch this visually, because there's so many things to note about the visuals of this this music video. First of all, love the concept. It it's very, like, brings you back to... Like a very like romantic kind of vibe, right? Where you're out at sea, it's like lots of water, lots of nature. Um, something about like crashing waves is just like a really like romantic idea. So like very high on the romance vibe. But it's also very like warm and like comforting. Like the whole boat concept where they're all just kind of sailing together is just very like warm and comforting and goes with the whole idea of like twice where it's just like they've got each other and they've like always been there for each other. And then to some degree, I don't know if this is what they'll say in an interview, but I feel like it's usually how it goes where they say like songs about love with twice are also songs about twice and once where it's just like the fans support the artists, the artists support the fans, and it's like this back and forth, and I really dig it. I really hope that um, that's what the in initial interpretation was, but let's go ahead, let's watch the music video, because I'm sure anyone who's seen this music video has noticed a lot of things as they were watching it. All right, so let's go. So first of all, love, again, this water visual, right? Like there's troubled seas, but among these troubled seas, you're with good company. So we start off really strong with Mina, who's a very, like, visual member of TWICE, right? Like, Mina's got, like, a great smile. So we start off with, like, they're all hanging out amongst the storm. And then this, first of all. Alright. This is one of those moments where everyone who has followed TWICE for at least the past year, two years, knows that they knew exactly what they were doing here with the Miche, but that's just me, and I'm pretty sure everybody else is thinking the same thing. So hats off to the the director for the video because the director of the video has been on TikTok and Instagram and is paying attention to what the fans are saying. So we're gonna keep repeating this theme over and over as the rest of the music video goes on. So we're, it's basically like what I'm getting at right here is that whoever designed this video knows what like the popular twice like pairings are and they are just like you know what y'all we're just gonna take this and we're gonna ride the wave of this and just let the fans know that we're watching and listening and here is the result of all of that so we're gonna keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this video This was a pairing I wasn't too sure about, but it keeps coming back and forth, so maybe I just missed this. So 
so of course we had to add some of the choreography right and then of course we had to add just some like fun visuals here and there kind of showing that like they're all hanging out they've all got each other so let's rewind that for a second because first of all the chorus is awesome um so of course the choreography piece love like this blue and white flag concept they got going on in the back and of course they had to add like scenes of them hanging out because like that's like twice right of course they're goofy together As, like, sort of staged as it seems, it seems very natural, right? Like, this is what they would do on a regular day. Now, anyone who went to the Ready to Be World Tour knows that Chaeyoung was rocking the guitar. So let's go back for a second here. So first of all, we see you, Chaeyoung, rocking the C chord. All right, let's go. That's what a C chord on a guitar looks like. But, um... This is again going back to like they're really paying attention to what the fans like. And one of like my favorite parts about Twice's World Tour Ready to Be was Chaeyoung's like guitar acoustic set. Um, so I guess they realized a lot of the fans like that. So what do they do in this music video? They gave Chaeyoung a guitar. All right, so let's keep going. I don't know if this was Chaeyoung's idea to be honest, but I, we dig it. First of all, mad, mad Kingdom Hearts vibes right here. This, this scene, I don't know who picked this scene. Like this like water droppy scene, but this gives like mad Kingdom Hearts vibes. So I also like this when it comes, when it comes to the visuals of this music video, they did this thing where like, wait for it. So, or actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. It might, we might need to go a little bit further back to when Chang starts singing. Cause they do this thing where it's like the camera flips around and then it flips again so now like the world's upside down right which is part of the lyrics so it's like the world is upside down but then it like comes back you know so i really thought that was really creative that they did this whole like you flip my world upside down and things just haven't been the same, but now this is like my normal. Also, like this is a really interesting like group position. Cause it's like you gotta transition from that into like chorus choreography. So one thing one thing that you'll notice a lot in this video is like the whole concept of like the red string especially like if you follow japanese culture um i wouldn't say i'm a japanese culture expert but there's definitely a lot of like symbolism when it comes to like a red string that ties people together um they've used it in granted i'm using my experience of anime from this but like the red string that basically keeps people tied together is literally like depicted through pinkies Again, I don't know, like, the significance culture on that, um, so correct me in the comments what that all is, um, but you see it a lot, and you're seeing it again, and this might be going back to the whole, like, global thing, where it's, like, they're trying to reach out to their global audience, um, so, so I was definitely, like, thought that was, like, a really interesting point. So now we reach kind of like the part of the story where it's just like, okay, there's storms, but like, you know what? We're just gonna swim through it. And this part was like visually really cool. Like the fact that they threw it in there. Now, after all of the storms over, you know, the seas get clearer, the world gets brighter because like, no matter what happens, like the storm always passes, right? As long as you, like, stick together, the storms, like, you can weather all of the storms. So now we're back to Mina being main visual here. Coming out of the boat. And it's like all the clashing, like, waves are gone, right? Now you just enjoy it. 
And that enjoyment is followed by the final chorus, which is like the climax of the song. So now everything's like happy, everything's fun, you know, we weathered the storm, everyone's like being goofy. You can feel like the wind through your hair, like, and it's just good vibes. So yeah, lots of like, definitely favorite pairings in the video. Lots of like symbolism in the whole like, we're on this ship and we're gonna run through stormy weathers, but we're gonna make it through as long as we have each other. Um, so really liked the music video's direction when I watched it the first time. I thought it was really interesting. And again, I just love like this whole scenery of like the small boat and like the waves and the islands and like roughing it through the storm big big fan now let's go ahead let's watch it again and let me give you like my musical like take on the song itself so like i was saying earlier it follows the standard pop formula of intro verse pre-chorus chorus verse two um pre-chorus two chorus two a break and then the final chorus. very standard formula This is just, it's such a good concept. Okay, so we start off really nice and light, right? Just like a lot of like songs, cause like it gives you the time to be like, oh snap, this is my song, it's coming up. And then we hit in with like a nice poppy verse. Very nice, low and mellow, right? Good solid bass beat and a good solid drum beat. Let's actually pause there for a second there. If you love American music, there is a solid chance that you love a good bass line. And that is definitely part of the verse. So if we go back just for a little bit here, right? You hear it. It's like kind of grooving in the background. Right? It's not about the melody. It's about like the underlying like bass notes. Pre-chorus, where it breaks it down just a little bit. You know, kind of like brings down the mood a little bit for the inevitable. And it's like high energy. You come in with Nyan, who's very strong vocals. So now there's, again, this little, like, interim where you kind of calm down, and then we go down to verse 2, which is, again, once again, mellow, very heavy, like, bass and percussion, and then it's, like, it's really mellow, right? Like, the energy went down a little bit, just to set us up. Now we go into the pre-chorus again. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is the pre-chorus. Right? So it, it brings it down even further, right? Because you always want your chorus to slap. So now we go to the break of the song, right? So we have like a strong chorus with Nyan and Sana in it. Now we're going to the breakdown of the song where it really mellows out. So you already survived two choruses and now it's just like this nice little space to breathe. And twice always, well almost, but a ton of the time lets Mina do the breaks because Mina's got like a nice soft vocal that's like not too high energy, but it's not too bassy. So Mina does a lot of the breaks for twice because of her vocals and just how like soft, but like impactful her vocals are. See?
and then we're back to the final chorus. Like, you just recovered from a soft break. So the song is really good because it plays off of everything that Twice already does well. Whether it's Mina's breaks, whether it's like a strong chorus that's either led by Nyan or Jihyo, um, whether it's that one chorus that Sana always sings that just like is high energy even though Sana's vocals are not very like loud, right? But it still gets you really excited because Sana's voice is really good for choruses. So overall, like, I thought the song was really good. Again, the, like, the low parts were really heavily carried by the lower tone instruments, like the bass guitar, like percussion, um, whereas the choruses were really high on, like, the higher pitched, like, instruments and, like, synthesizers. Um, so all in all, like, a very good pop song because it does everything that Twice already does well and then all like puts it all into like a pop music formula so we're gonna listen to it one more time just to see if there's anything that i can catch this time that i didn't catch the first few times this bass line is just so good I didn't realize they rhymed a part with a part. I wonder if this is going to be edited in the actual song because like this underwater vibe fits the music video but this part actually is a little strange because when they go back to like like they have to do this break for the music video where Mina's coming out of the boat but then like the final chorus starts off a little rough in terms of like metering and in terms of like keeping beat. So it had to, the music had to take a break here, right? Because there's like that extra beat, actually, that kind of throws me off whenever I listen to this.
Okay, I could be wrong because I'm I'm doing this just strictly off of listening, and I haven't practiced this practiced this skill in a while. So someone correct me, but it kind of gives like not four chords. Um, if you're a musician, like I'd have to play on the guitar to kind of just figure this part out. It sounds like it's going from E to B to A to C sharp to B. And I know that sounds super confusing, but if you're a guitarist and that makes sense to you, let me know in the comments below, because it sounds like the chord progression for this song is E, B, A, C sharp, B. Let me know. I'll play around with it a little bit too on the side, um, but in case anyone wanted to do an acoustic cover, I think that's the note progression. Uh, but yeah, all in all, Twice I Got You, a very, very nice, easy to listen to song. It's it's one of those songs where it feels like no matter what your mood is, it'll fit it kind of appropriately because it's kind of like a neutral vibe, right? Like the feels is like super high energy followed by like really heavy bass. Um, Moonlight Sunrise is kind of more of like a low to the ground song that's very like, you know, listening in the background. This is very like neutral pop where it feels like you can listen to it anytime and it'll fit. Let's listen to it one more time. I don't know if there's actually a point in listening to it one more time, but we're gonna listen to it one more time. We really gotta let it absorb, right? So we're gonna listen to it four times in the same video. Man, I just, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> I still love this like stormy concept going into like peace and happiness. I really liked what they did with like Momo and Die Hunt here in terms of like their vocals. Like I feel like they really played on their vocals for that. Also this concept of just like like, right down to the close. I don't know what sort of concept I would describe it as, but it feels very, like, early 2000s, like, rom-com kind of, like, costumes. And it's just, it's so beautiful. Right down to like this whole like planes vibe they've got going on, right? Like it just feels like you're watching like like a romance movie or like a like rom com. Like a love story? I don't know what this reminds me of. This scene like reminds me of either a specific artist or like a movie I've seen. If it reminds you of a movie or something that you've seen, let me know in the comments below. I can't shake that I've seen something like that before though.
Yeah, I don't think listening to it one more time added anything in terms of the content of this video. Um, but it's such a good, like, everyday kind of listen. Like, it's just that kind of song where you can listen to it no matter what your mood is. Um, because it's very pop. It's, it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't really lean on the spectrum, maybe a little bit more on like the electrical, like synthesizer side, um, of like pop music, but all in all, it's like a nice, easy listen to with a really good music video that had like a really good, like artistic direction in terms of like, this is kind of the story we're trying to tell. This is what the song sort of means. We know what y'all are posting on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, so we're gonna play off of that and make you watch our music video five times so you can comment on the same scene three different times in three different ways. So all in all, like a really good music video, a really good song, and I'm super excited for the rest of what With Youth has to offer when it comes out. And of course you can rely on me to do another full album listen and react video and then i can tell you all about my thoughts on the songs what i think about them um things like that tying in like my musical background to these videos so with that being said let me know in the comments what did you think about twice's i got you music video the song let me know if there's some things that you caught that i missed that would definitely like help me when I rewatch this music video in the future be like oh I never really realized that um and then a few cultural things that I may have missed here or there let me know in the comments I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you thought about the music video and that's all for now so thank you all so much for watching as always if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time that's all for now thank you all so much for watching and as always until next time take it easy